patience and hustle is mainly because I watch a lot of um, I watch a lot of Gary Vee stuff. Um, if you've watched his kind of um, YouTube channel a little bit, you kind of know where I'm going with this. Um, but it kind of um, I guess pressure you could say that is on um, everyone at the moment to put in hours and hours and hours and hours of work and hustle um, is kind of also hurting people as well because because you know everyone's kind of showing fast results on social media and you know everything else people put in work that they can't obtain for a long period of time and they will burn out um now i know that with with trading obviously um depending on what you're trading you're cut off with your trading times and you're also um, kind of limited by volume coming in at certain times. But when it's when it comes down to patience and hustle in general, so not just in trading, um, it, it's important to have that long-term mindset, but then also put work in. So it, it, it's hard to explain because obviously it's different for everyone, but um understanding where you are in your own journey where you want to be um in x amount of years and then also how much work you are happy to put in to get to that goal um and also i think that because there's so many people on social media talking about hustle talking about um working crazy hour days that people think that that's what they have to do um and they might not they, they might not enjoy that um for example gary v he he works a lot um but he enjoys it so for him it's not working a lot it's just doing what he loves all the time um and i think that a lot of people misunderstand hustle for doing things that you don't want to do every single day um, or working on a project that they, they don't want to do because they want to make money or whatever. Um, and also in terms of patience, now apart from trading, being in a trade and having patience for that to kind of resolve, you also need the patience to actually hustle. Now I just used it in the wrong context but you know where I'm going. Um, you need the patience to sit down and work. Um, I think Charlie Munger calls it assiduity, As assiduity, something like that, um, which is basically sitting down in a chair and working. And if you don't sit down and work, there's going to be someone else that is going to sit down and put that work in and beat you. Um, and that's, I think that's where the kind of hustle and the patience don't align because people think that they need to be working 24 7 and it, it is just not it's just not true um i think that depending on your goals is dependent on how much work you need to put in um if you if you want to be the next whatever um if you want to be a billionaire if you want to be a multi-billionaire you're gonna have to sacrifice you're gonna have to um you, you basically you're just gonna have to work 24 7 um for however many years but if you don't want that and you want anything less than that then i think obviously i haven't done it myself so i don't know but from kind of looking at successful people and learning from successful people you you can give yourself a little bit of leeway and give yourself time to 
enjoy the process a little bit um, and enjoy the process of getting better. Now I don't really know where I was going to go with the kind of patience and hustle because I haven't written anything out, like I haven't got any notes. Um, I'm just kind of speaking from the top of my head so I don't really know where it's going to go but yeah that's my kind of thinking around patience and hustle. I think that a lot of people don't have patience and I don't know whether that's purely down to social media and the perception of fast money or if it's just um, people wanting instant gratification for their work. Now, <clears throat> for example, on this channel, I I'm, I've put out over 200 videos for this channel and I think we're sitting around 1,200 subs. There's plenty of other channels out there in the forex industry that have 50, 100, whatever videos and they're on an extra zero or another zero on top of that zero from my channel. So, you know, it, it's one of those things of do you compare yourself to others or do you just work on yourself and try and get better every day? It's just one of those things. Um, Mike, bro, your hustle is big. I see you trying your best. That's why I'm always here and not near the channel. Work on yourself every day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I think it's tough because obviously social media is so easily accessible and people can easily kind of fake it. And that's why it's so easy to get depressed and get upset with where you are in life because you're seeing well okay you're fake seeing everyone else um that is rich because <clears throat> it's not it's not everyone else um they're not rich and it's all fake <clears throat> so yeah i think that it's uh we're living in one of the easiest times to get rich, but also one of the easiest times to, to become um, depressed with where you are on your own journey. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's um, it's tough. It's tough, and especially if you don't. So, kind of the people that I've surrounded myself with, have given me um, the knowledge to be able to see when something is fake, almost. Um, And I think it's it's hard when you don't have those people around you that might be successful already and are actually successful because you don't have anyone to learn from. Um, and you're just kind of stumbling through from one rich person to another rich person. And you're judging yourself on that because you're seeing these people that are it looks like they're not working. I'm sure they are working, but um, it looks like they're not working, but they're making loads of money and you're putting in loads of effort and not getting anywhere. And it's like, well, how is that even a thing? How are you, how, how are you traveling the world, going on yachts and driving a Lambo and partying? And I'm here, wherever you are, stuck at home putting in hours every single day and not getting anywhere um, and it's just one of, one of those things where if you look at the background you then find out oh maybe they, they got money from their parents 
they um i don't know maybe they've been doing it for 20 years and putting in the grind and they're only just now seeing those profits maybe i don't know maybe they got investors and it's all just marketing like there's so many things that it could be um but you don't see that you just see the the success um so yeah i know gary v talks about this a lot like just um have patience in yourself and trust in your process um and kind of close your eyes until you're however old um i think in his video he was talking about like 29 or something but yeah just just close your eyes put work in have patience and just don't judge yourself compared to someone else because it, it's just not it's not healthy um and it, it's hard but you know you kind of just have to do it because otherwise you're just gonna get upset and not not push yourself as hard as you should so yeah i wish i had some notes on this because it's it's pretty it's like a big topic and i feel like i haven't done that justice um well, i might make another video on this but yeah it 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 is hard nowadays um just because of social media <laughs>